The MIND diet is designed to prevent dementia and loss of brain function as you age. It combines the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet to create a dietary pattern that focuses specifically on brain health. This video is a detailed guide for beginners, with everything you need to know about the MIND diet and how to follow it. What is the MIND diet? MIND stands for the Mediterranean DASH Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. The MIND diet aims to reduce dementia and the decline in brain health that often occurs as people get older. It combines aspects of two very popular diets, the Mediterranean diet and then the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension DASH, diet. Many experts regard the Mediterranean and DASH diets as some of the healthiest. Research has shown they can lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease, diabetes and several other diseases. But researchers wanted to create a diet specifically to help improve brain function and prevent dementia. To do this, they combined foods from the Mediterranean and DASH diets that had been shown to benefit brain health. For example, both the Mediterranean and DASH diets recommend eating a lot of fruit. Fruit intake has not been correlated with improved brain function, but eating berries has been. Thus, the MIND diet encourages its followers to eat berries, but does not emphasize consuming fruit in general. Currently, there are no set guidelines for how to follow the MIND diet. Simply eat more of the 10 foods the diet encourages you to eat, and eat less of the 5 foods the diet recommends you limit. The next two sections discuss which foods to eat and which to avoid on the diet. 10 Foods to Eat on the MIND Diet Green, leafy vegetables, aim for 6 or more servings per week. This includes kale, spinach, cooked greens and salads. All other vegetables, try to eat another vegetable in addition to the green leafy vegetables at least once a day. It is best to choose non-starchy vegetables because they have a lot of nutrients with a low number of calories. Berries, eat berries at least twice a week. Although the published research only includes strawberries, you should also consume other berries like blueberries, raspberries and blackberries for their antioxidant benefits. Nuts, try to get 5 servings of nuts or more each week. The creators of the MIND diet don't specify what kind of nuts to consume, but it is probably best to vary the type of nuts you eat to obtain a variety of nutrients. Olive oil, use olive oil as your main cooking oil. Whole grains, aim for at least 3 servings daily. Choose whole grains like oatmeal, quinoa, brown rice, whole wheat pasta and 100% whole wheat bread. Fish, eat fish at least once a week. It is best to choose fatty fish like salmon, sardines, trout, tuna and mackerel for their high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. Beans, include beans in at least 4 meals every week. This includes all beans, lentils and soybeans. Poultry, Try to eat chicken or turkey at least twice a week. Note that fried chicken is not encouraged on the MIND diet. Wine, aim for no more than one glass daily. Both red and white wine may benefit the brain. However, much research has focused on the red wine compound resveratrol, which may help protect against Alzheimer's disease. If you are unable to consume the targeted amount of servings, don't quit the MIND diet altogether. Research has shown that following the MIND diet even a moderate amount is associated with a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. 5 Foods to Avoid on the MIND Diet Butter and margarine, try to eat less than 1 tablespoon, about 14 grams, daily. Instead, try using olive oil as your primary cooking fat and dipping your bread in olive oil with herbs. Cheese, the MIND diet recommends limiting your cheese consumption to less than once per week. Red meat, aim for no more than 3 servings each week. This includes all beef, pork, lamb, and products made from these meats. Fried food, the MIND diet highly discourages fried food, especially the kind from fast food restaurants. Limit your consumption to less than once per week. Pastries and sweets, this includes most of the processed junk food and desserts you can think of. Ice cream, cookies, brownies, snack cakes, donuts, candy, and more. Try to limit these to no more than 4 times a week. Researchers encourage limiting your consumption of these foods because they contain saturated fats and trans fats. The MIND diet may decrease oxidative stress and inflammation. The current research on the MIND diet has not been able to show exactly how it works. However, the scientists who created the diet think it may work by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. 
Oxidative stress occurs when unstable molecules called free radicals accumulate in the body in large quantities. This often causes damage to cells. The brain is especially vulnerable to this type of damage. Inflammation is your body's natural response to injury and infection. But if it's not properly regulated, inflammation can also be harmful and contribute to many chronic diseases. Together, oxidative stress and inflammation can be quite detrimental to the brain. In recent years, they've been the focus of some interventions to prevent and treat Alzheimer's disease. Following the Mediterranean and DASH diets has been associated with lower levels of oxidative stress and inflammation. Because the MIND diet is a hybrid of these two diets, the foods that make up the MIND diet probably also have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. The antioxidants in berries and the vitamin E in olive oil, green leafy vegetables, and nuts are thought to benefit brain function by protecting the brain from oxidative stress. Additionally, the omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish are well known for their ability to lower inflammation in the brain, and have been associated with slower loss of brain function. Research on the MIND diet and brain health The MIND diet hasn't been around very long, the first official paper on the diet was published in 2015. So it's no surprise there's not much research investigating its effects. However, two observational studies on the MIND diet have shown very promising results. In one study of 923 older adults, people who followed the MIND diet the closest had a 53% lower risk of Alzheimer's disease than people who followed it the least. Interestingly, people who followed the MIND diet only moderately still seemed to benefit from it, and cut their risk of Alzheimer's disease by 35%, on average. The second study found that people who followed the MIND diet the closest experienced a slower decline in brain function compared to people who followed the diet the least. However, note that both these studies were observational, meaning they can't prove cause and effect. They can only detect associations. So while the early research is promising, it can't say for sure that the MIND diet caused the reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease or the slower brain decline. However, researchers recently received approval to start a controlled study on the effects of the MIND diet. While this study won't be completed for several years, this is a big step toward determining if the MIND diet directly benefits brain function. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.